right direction and um, sometimes I look at things that they've done collaboratively and that's something else about the centre. I think that so often they work better collaboratively mm. and that's hard because in our culture of art you find that people um, are so egocentric and here the hardest part and we've had meetings about intellectual property and we're trying to tell them that hey you don't copy someone else's work. things because at the centre it used to be so painting orientated and they never did anything but painting and if you do something like printmaking especially you've got that opportunity to do more than one copy of something so that you can have more income as well because for the artists one of the hardest things is um, trying to make a living. One of the things I did that really made me happy was bringing printmaking to Fiji because it really suits what they do and it's an experience they hadn't had and it was so good because the people who did it, you know, from Australia, they were really happy. The only time I get to do it is like when I come here. Before I'd never done that and I, so I felt reluctant to do it because I thought that um, the focus is not me, it's the students and I shouldn't be doing it. But also, in a way, by doing it, it gave other people something to look at because they're not used to working in the way that I work. And when I was here and they watched what I was doing, it gave them a sort of something to bounce off, which I think is really important. And that's why it's so good to have different um, artists and people with different skills become involved in things like this because with Christina, um, okay, she's Spanish and she's not local, but she's got incredible skills. I suppose it's found objects, like I'll find something and see something and I might be walking somewhere, I'll look at something and say, I like it. And I collect them and then sometimes it'll take, not weeks, it might take a while and I'll think about it and um, it's like, um, it's a sort of like a hatching process so that I think I find and then I put them together. I like to recycle, but I like also to put things together that don't go together, you know, the juxtaposition thing, which you have unnatural and natural things. I made an artwork that was called Subtle Invasion and it was amazing because when I went to Benga last year I found this bottle and it was China, had Chinese writing on it and it was just perfect and I put natural things um, inside it and plastic on the end. The idea of making something large, Klaus Oldenburg who is a sort of originally a pop artist who was around in the 60s and um, I can remember when I was at school there was amazing art book and it had foam rubber in the cover and it was really tactile and it was about this artist, Klaus Oldenburg. He influenced me because I sort of think that that thing about taking something natural or normal and making it larger, it's sort of, and like with what we're doing, it, it takes the message because you, you're using it and you're making it bigger. And when something's really large, it's sort of in your face and you think about it. I'm a sucky baker,